In this video, we will focus on specifically how the speech transformer is used for automatic speech recognition, which will be abbreviated to ASR. So let's define the task of ASR. An ASR system is responsible for taking an audio input of someone speaking and returning the text equivalent. Let's look at an example here. We have a person and they speak. It would be a delight to drink tea with the Queen. The ASR system is only concerned about the text and it is not influenced by the speed, enunciation, pronunciation and other discourse features. Here we consider two further examples where an ASR system must be able to handle a variety of accents to transcribe the speech to text. Bollywood is getting a lot of international attention. Which goes to. And then. Thankfully, there is no more mafia in this city. Which goes to. In order to be able to use an ASR system, we must understand an appropriate way of representing the audio signal. A popular choice is known as the spectrogram. The spectrogram is essentially a plot of how the frequencies present in an audio signal vary with time. So here we generate the spectrogram of the following audio signal. It would be a delight to drink tea with the queen. So at each timestamp, we have a representation of how much each frequency is present. Brighter the color, the greater the presence of that frequency. Hence, as far as any model is concerned, a spectrogram is just a two-dimensional image, which we can represent as a grid of numbers. It is an important step to decide the quantization along both the time and frequency axes, such that the original audio signal can be reconstructed reasonably. Before we explain the principle of operation of the speech transformer, it is important to note that the ASR task falls into the broad category of sequence-to-sequence -sequence tasks. A sequence-to-sequence -sequence task is one where a sequential input is mapped to a sequential output. Here, the input is a sequence of audio frames and the output is a sequence of textual characters or words. So let's first take a look at the generic architecture for sequence-to-sequence -sequence tasks. So we have a sequential input denoted from x1 to xk. These inputs are passed to an encoder module that mathematically manipulates the input into some hidden representation that we denote h. This hidden representation is then passed to a decoder module. The decoder module is responsible for generating the output sequence that we have denoted y1 to yt. The decoder also has additional inputs at the bottom that appear to be a shifted version of the output sequence tokens, such that the output token at each position is dependent on both the hidden representation of the inputs and also the output tokens that were generated before. At training time, we already know what the output sequence should be, and hence the true labels are used for the shifted inputs to the decoder. This is known as teacher focusing. At inference time, the labels are not known, and hence one token is generated at a time and fed back into the decoder along with the hidden representation to generate the next token. So the speech transformer falls directly into this generic encoder decoder setup for sequence to sequence tasks. As reference, the speech transformer was introduced in the paper Speech Transformer a no-recurrence sequence-to-sequence -sequence model for speech recognition at ICASP 2018. The architecture itself is a simple extension of the transformer architecture introduced in the infamous Attention is All You Need paper. The original application was introduced for text-to-text -text sequence -to sequence tasks, such as neural machine translation. Hence, the speech transformer is an adaptation of the main transformer in order to handle audio data at the input instead of text. I will be simplifying the transformer architecture here as its basic mean of operation is the same as usual. If you are unaware of how the transformer works, 
do check out our video on the performer, which explains the transformer architecture in detail with a particular focus on the multi-head attention mechanism and the concept of self-attention. So let's see how the speech transformer works holistically. As discussed, the input audio signal is represented as a spectrogram. The spectrogram is passed to several convolution layers as the spectrogram can be considered to be an image. The output from the convolution layer is passed to the usual transformer encoder structure that in turn passes its hidden state representation of the input to the transformer decoder. The output from the transformer is generated at a character level. So for example here, we are generating the text, it would be delight to meet the queen, one character at a time. Note the shifted characters input at the transformer decoder must be passed through some form of character embedding stage that represents each character as a vector. Okay, that all makes sense, apart from exactly how the output from the convolution layers are fed into the transformer encoder, as the encoder expects sequential inputs. We also haven't discussed why do we have convolution layers in the first place? So let's revert to representing our spectrogram as a matrix of values. The sequential length of the input is based on the length of time of our audio signal, which in turn is simply the number of columns in the spectrogram matrix, as each column can be considered to be an audio frame. Based on the high sampling rate usually required to create the spectrogram, the number of audio frames at the input is significantly longer than the number of characters generated at the output. Therefore, the convolution layers are required with large strides along the time axes to reduce the sequential length of our input. So after passing through the convolution layer, our matrix has fewer columns. Each column is treated as an embedding, and these are the sequential inputs that are passed into the transformer encoder. The speech transformer paper explores further modifications to the transformer architecture, such as using a two-dimensional multi-head self-attention mechanism, but that is out of scope for this video. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you very much.